You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have the Flea 2. These are the Nike Flea 2 by Cactus Plant Flea Market. Before we jump into it, I want to give a huge shout out to my good friend Noel for helping me secure this pair at retail. This is a very Noel-esque shoe, and I'm happy that he was able to help me get my pair. These are crazy. There's a lot of details to go over. Let's go ahead and dive into it. You have this neoprene tongue, it says Flea 2, heat pressed on. Underneath that, you have a nylon tongue tag with some of that CPFM artwork. And then you have a pull tab on the front of the tongue in black nylon and then it has 3M hits going across. They feature adjustable Velcro straps with clasps on them. And underneath that, for the main part of the upper of the shoe, is this neoprene material. Taking us to the side panel of the shoe, my favorite part is these big, white, puffy swooshes. Feels like suede-like material. They're adjustable. You can clasp them on in different ways. And they also included adjustable pins as well. Underneath that, you do have more of those Velcro straps, that neoprene upper, and you have a vinyl-like overlay that separates the shoe from the upper to the midsole. Taking us to the back of the shoe, you have multiple pull tabs in different colors. On the right shoe, it's red and yellow. It says Air and Flea 2. On the left shoe, it's navy and forest green. And on the back of the ankle, you have Air embroidered on. The insoles feature a thermal heat map print with R on the right and then L on the left. And if you couldn't tell, the upper is slightly two different colors on each shoe. You have more of like a green spruce right here and more of like a faded blue on the left shoe. Taking us to the midsole, you have this crazy traction-like pattern with these squares right here. Towards the back of the midsole, you have these rubberized pieces in different colors. It's brown and gray on the right foot and orange and yellow on the left foot. And this crazy traction pattern bleeds into the outsole. You have more of that grip right there. And then you also have an outline of a foot that glows in the dark. These are definitely one of the most obscure shoes to drop this year. Definitely got the internet talking. Some people either hate them completely, or if you're like myself, you found them quite intriguing. And Cactus Plant Flea Market is a fashion brand that was established back in 2015 by Cynthia Liu. And this isn't their first time collaborating with Nike. There was the Nike Flea One that looked like it was the Grinch's feet. They also did the Nike Bayou Blazers where they let you mix the textures of the upper, like corduroy. They also did the Nike Vapor Max, just to name a few. In 2022, they had everyone in a frenzy trying to collect their Happy Meal toys in collaboration with McDonald's. And prior to that, they did the merch for Kanye West and Kid Cudi. These dropped on their website in October and they sold out instantly. I tried for the raffle, took the L, and this is the first time in a long time where I got a bunch of people to enter the raffle for me. We all took L's, but fortunately, like I mentioned, my good friend Noel was able to hit on both pairs. They do come in a black colorway as well. I end up with the faded spruce. Really like this colorway. I feel like it's a little more versatile than the all black. And it's just a really fun sneaker. I'm not really one for collaborations, but it just looked really cool. Like you could play with the swooshes. It came with buttons. It came with extra stuff like a nice terry cloth tote bag. I just like the creative aspect. It's definitely not a practical shoe, but it's a shoe that I can find myself enjoying over time. And, you know, it looks like you can really rock these outdoors and just enjoy some summertime activities with these. And I'm not 100% sure what the cushioning is, but if you know, let us know in the comments below. They did get a wider release on Nike.com. Those sold out as well. And like I mentioned, they retail for 240 and resale prices are climbing up into the 300s. As far as sizing goes, there was a lot of controversy in regards to the size of these things, but I definitely recommend going true to size. They fit perfect for me. But what do you guys think? Sound off in the comments below. If there's anything we missed, let us know. We could chat about it in the comments. We'd love to hear from you guys. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We appreciate all the support over here. But let's go ahead and see how these things look on foot. Yeah. I'm a 
but chill, gotta get along with, get on a song with, trying to bubble up like the water in the bomb grips, the heart and soul of the team on some Draymond shit, strong shit, get game crazy, that fade long shit, back in some newest sneakers, you know who the leaders, I might pull up in the two-seater, bump and do a leaper, send me five bands and I probably do your feature, whoever hating on me probably watching for the bleachers, trying to pop up in the visa, take a yacht off the marina, you bring a deal to me, don't you ever try to please us, I overanalyze shit, read the fine print and I improvise when I do some things I haven't tried yet, I'm lit, no heat check, really I'm him, grinding till the night shift, turn to the night swims, catch a vibe quick, on these C-Rock beats, and when I get on, then the whole If you enjoyed this review on the Nike Flea 2 by Cactus Plant Flea Market, then check out all our other Nike reviews right here, we got a bunch for you guys to enjoy, and make sure you hit that subscribe button, stay tuned for more episodes to come.